that how can you optimize your listing on Amazon. This is my Helium 10 dashboard. On Helium 10, you find a lot of different tools which really can help you to rank and launch and find the product. And uh, there are a lot of different categories here. So right now, I will be only using this scribble tool. And I will be telling you that how can you find out that is there any error in your listing. Are the keywords which have the high search volume related to your product, are there in your listing or not? How can you find that out using the scribble tool? I will be telling you that. It's very simple. It's not a really difficult thing. You just need to uh, search your product on Amazon. Let's say garlic press is my product. I'm going to search it and I will be running Helium 10 extension and uh, then I will open my extension from here for the x-ray tool and I will find out the stats for it or as we say that I am going to be selecting the top 10 sellers and will run in Cerebro to find out the keywords which my competitors have used in their listing so I am going to remove the sponsor it's your choice either you want to remove the sponsor or you can uh, keep the sponsors ad, uh, it's up to you. So I'm just removing it so that we can really get the authentic results. Okay. So I will be selecting the top 10 from here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And here you can see the option run in Cerebro. What will happen if I'm going to uh, click on this option? That uh, this option will tell me that how many and what are the relevant keywords which my top 10 competitors have used in their listing. So I'm going to just simply run in Cerebro. And after running that in Cerebro, I'm going to scroll down and I will see the complete list of the keywords which uh, along with their search volumes and the CPR giveaways, you can see the headings here. It's a phrase, uh, uh, Cerebro IQ score search volume, CPR giveaways. So from this tool, you can find out actually that on which keyword, that, that how many giveaways you can, you have to do it anyway. So this is not a topic right now. You just have to simply find out what are the relevant keywords related to your product. Okay. So now you can see that the, uh, it has given me 18,878 keywords. So it will be very difficult for me to find out which one have the high search volume because they are not in the sequence. So I'm going to first uh, give them a sequence. Here uh, there is an option sort by. You can sort by according to um, any column. So right now I am only interested in the search volume. So I will be... Uh, selecting search volume high to low so it the, uh, the keywords which have the high search volume will automatically appear on the top and then I will find out from those keywords that which keywords are relevant to my uh, product so the can opener it's not relevant to my product so I'm going to just simply remove it so by um, now food processor again it's not relevant to my product Kitchen aid mixer, uh, there's nothing to mix with the garlic press. Okay, then the garlic press is here, so I'm going to keep this as it is. Then cheese grater, you can remove that. So you are going to remove all the irrelevant keywords from here, and you will only uh, uh, choose the key uh, keywords which are related to your product and which have the high search volume. Now, what is next? In the next step, you are going to use this uh, sorry scribble tool. Here you can see the option of words and here you can see the option of uh, phrases. So what you can simply do is after finding out the keywords from here, you can copy and paste the keywords here. And when you are going to, um, okay, just let me show you the clear screen so that it will be easier for you to understand.
All right. So what you can simply do is the keywords which you have found from your Cerebro listing. You can simply copy those keywords and paste it here. After pasting that here, you will uh, write your title here. You will copy and paste the title which you have already uploaded on Amazon. You are going to copy it. And if you if you want to find out if is the content which you have created for your listing is authentic or is relevant and will help you to uh, rank your product on the first page, then you can use this tool before launching it, right? So it will be more, it will be better for you to do the stars before launching the product so that it can help you with the starting of the, with the initial phases of the product. Okay, so after the copying and pasting the keywords here, uh, and you are going to write the title here. I'm just going to copy it from any listing uh, which is already present. I'm just going to copy this title and you will copy it like this. You will paste it here. You will copy all the bullet points and here bullet four or five and here you will copy and paste your description and then you are going to apply okay first let me just add some keywords here garlic press garlic mincer garlic chopper and garlic slicer okay i have just written these randomly because these are all related to the product okay now when i'm going to click on apply you can see that it has told me that how many times the keywords have been used uh, the spencer have been used for one time so that you can see that the power is one the spread has been used two times so the power is two this garlic has been used four times then the power is four okay so similarly okay this is the, these are the words and these are the phrases and it's nothing different you it just separates the all the phrases in the words so that um, it will be easier for you to guess which word have been used how many times okay so when you're going to click on apply you can see that this chopper and slicer keyword has not been used in the uh, title okay so this is how you are going to find out that which keywords are not used in your listing and then you are going to copy those keywords and you are going to add on uh, add those keywords in your listing and remember you will not do keyword stuffing you will not do keyword stuffing because if you are going to uh, stuff keywords and uh, with no sense then it will be considered as that there is no logic in the product and we, and uh, whoever will be reading your description, whoever the buyer, uh, whoever will be your customer and reading the description, it will give a very bad impression that the, the let's say garlic press, garlic press, garlic press has been used repeatedly and uh, which is making no sentence, uh, no sense in the sentence. Okay, 